This is ContactTalkRadio.com. Consciousness in action. And you are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Hing.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Welcome to Transformations with Tara Sutphin. Tara Sutphin is the author of Blame It on Your Past Lives, Soul Agreements, and The Abenda Chronicles. Grammy-nominated audios, videos, and MP3 series. You can find these MP3 series now at TaraInsight.com. Hey, welcome to Transformations with Tara. This is Tara Sutphin. And my guest today is Terry Garrison. And she's a musician and singer. And I named the title of our show, Musings of a Girl with a Spiritual Guitar, because she's always been such a wonderful spiritual person that I've known for many, many years. I mean, my goodness, since we were teeny. Yeah, teeny tiny. Since we really were in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's wonderful to know that you've had such a great life, really, you know? We, um, yeah, and so I know that you've been on a, a big journey. And um, so what are you doing right now? So right now I'm in Palm Springs working on some new songs, getting ready to do um, a private event tomorrow with some amazing people. I'm here visiting friends and writing songs and uh, getting ready to work on a, I just started, uh, finished a treatment on the life of Patsy Cline. Mm -hmm. And that, that's kind of incredible. So like a few projects, that's one of them. I'm hoping to get that on stage by fall 2019. Okay, great. And I know you're going to go back to Hawaii for a, little, for, a, for a concert, right? Say what? Are you going to go to Hawaii? Well, I just got back from Hawaii, and I hope to. Yeah, my manager is in Hawaii, so he's got me going all sorts of other places. Hi, Rick. Thank you for everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope he's watching. Um, he's going to be. He's got my catalog submitted, my gospel music catalog, to a, a national publishing house. So I might be going there next. And um, or maybe go into the beach. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. And, and then I get some gigs down in um, Lake Elsinore. That's really it's really pretty down there, Temecula. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'm doing this. I love Temecula, the wine country. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I just did a gig down there a few weeks ago, and going back and uh, writing and working with this incredible producer who you love. This. Uh, he does some TV shows in Australia, and he's got this uh, site called Think It So. His name's Malcolm Cohen. He loves your work. He says to tell you hi. Uh, so he's in Australia, and we're working on this project. He like told me I was going to do it like three or four months ago. I was like in the middle of all this junk, and he's like, "You're going to start writing songs about people, and it's going to heal them." And I was like, "I already do that." And he's like, no, but you're going to write more. And so he started specifically saying, there's this person. And so I ended up like in one month writing 20 songs. And it's just, wow. and so we get this, yeah. And we, it's going to be this whole thing of, so hoping to do it at Alley, um, Alley in the Valley, where I used to uh, rehearse a lot in LA. And where we focus, we, we uh, do a, you know, a close-up shot of the person that I wrote the song for. In the audience, like get a small group to get in at gatherings at the alley. So, like healing songs, transformational songs. So, that's kind of exciting. That is. Really maybe I'll write one for you next. <laughs> maybe I'll write one for you next. It's just I hope like, so. Oh, I hope so. Why not? You know? I love it. Oh. I love it. Yeah. I so much fun with you. I just I I... love seeing your seminars. And mm -hmm. Yeah. I we'll know, see. I know. Well, and you have to see Cheyenne too, because you haven't seen her in a while. I know. I remember feeding <laughs> no, her not to Cheyenne and Willie, but yeah. Baby food. I remember us feeding her baby food in your kitchen. Yeah, such a good memory. Yeah, really good memory. 
we did have a lot of good memories. So, and so, um, yeah, so what, um, so you're going to, um, now, so you're going to do this private event. Now, have you already done all the public events that this week? This week, yeah, I've got, I did a couple in Malibu on my Sunday, and then um, I sang at a beautiful fellowship there over at Webster Elementary and sang an event at the um, Malibu Farmers Market, and then i um, going to go to Lake Elsinore to sing at the uh, Candy Cowboy, it's called. Mm -hmm. in the yeah. And That's shout out to my DJ friend, Alicia, for putting all that together. Thanks, Alicia. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, yeah, no, we should, I should uh, definitely, you know, um, I can't wait to see you upcoming. I know that you're close now, so it's nice. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're all over the place. You're traveling. I am all over the place. I've been out of the country mostly for the last couple of months. So I'm just back into the country. But, uh, so. Totally mm. amazing. Mm. Yeah. So I guess what I'm like most excited about is the um, the transformational songs with Malcolm Cohen because it's just I'm seeing like I've sent a few to people and the timing on the songs like the stuff they're going through and the timing of the song and them receiving it it's been it's been pretty amazing so that might be a whole CD so right mm -hmm. right mm hmm. No, I love it. I love that you're, you're, you know, going forward so fast right now. What do you think is in the energy of the uh, cosmos? Uh, you know, it's full moon today. I know, it's a pink moon. I know. It's you told me that. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> in honor of the pink moon. <laughs> and, see, and I sing blues, and my, my phrase for years is like, why do you sing the blues? Now I say, because the blues makes me pink. So, I, so maybe I got to sing some blues for the pink moon or something. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. What do you think? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. So some some pink blues. Go out to my harmonica play above. My musician Philip. All my friends back in Maui. Can you hear it? Okay. Yeah. So this is about, uh, you know, because I never really leave Maui, so it's my blues for Hawaii. Come on, baby, come on home to me. I say, come on, baby, come on home to me. Come on home, little darling, home to Hawaii. I said, I said come on, baby, by where you belong. I pick you up at the airport. I said, come on, baby, by where you belong. I'll make you some Simon rice and some Lao Lao pork, baby. I'll be singing this song. It goes on like that. <laughs> I love it. It's my airport song. It's your airport I song? It. I sing it to people when they're leaving. Well, like, it was this their last night on the island? All right, here's your song. Now put this in the suitcase. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Sweet. But you were talking about the world and about like what the heck is happening and everything. And, and I guess the thing that makes me the saddest is when people just let um, rich people get them divided. Because mm -hmm. what I like the most about um, the Aina, where I'm from, and the land, and, and I, really the whole earth is uh, when, we're, when we see what, what we have in common, you know. And uh, I've always thought that's like one thing, you know, just one thing, mostly. Can you hear me okay? Am I close enough? Mm hmm You're close enough. We're not seeing you exactly as easily as we could. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. Hi, 
there's my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> So I did a CD with David Lindley, and as about the time I met you, it's called "Only Love." And um, mm -hmm. this is this is my heart song. What about you? Asked about the cosmos. Mm -hmm. If I was going to sing anything on a pink moon, okay, and if it might go up like a bubble to the heart of God. It'd be this song. Because I think we need it. Of all the dark nights, the tragedy. Of all the ghosts lying next to me, of all the stories I've ever heard, only love said a word. Only love. Of all the demons that I've denied. All the tears and the years I've cried. There's just one friend who's been by my side. Only love said a word. Only. Of all the heartless romancing. Of all the fears holding hands for all to see, it's just one voice that still burns in me. Only love, only, 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 only. Thank That's you. Thank you. Uh, beautiful. Well, I know with the uh, full moon today, it's all about self determination, you know, and being at 27, I mean, 29 degrees Libra, it's all about um, mastering our gifts. And, um, you know, you certainly have come with your big gifts in life. And um, all the beauty and the balance and self determining ourselves to our into our personal power today for the month so that we you know gain um, our stability as we go forward into Taurus yeah next few days yeah the timing of your words is remarkable and, and and impeccable it's just just I know all the forces in my life just all of a sudden it's you know um I feel like the creator is just demanding me like get focus and Probably a lot of people and, you know, doing it, doing it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This it's about really doing it. Yeah. And speaking the truth for sure. Yeah. It's all about yeah. speaking the truth. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm excited about, um, I'll tell you more about the Patsy Klein thing as that gets going. Mm -hmm. What's the favorite part of it? Well, it's what's exciting about it. I mean, there's been a lot of movies done about her. And this came out of, it just came, I was like literally sitting there one day. I've got a really dear friend, uh, Shane. He's he's gifted with uh, blindness. He's like this amazing soul. So we were sitting there talking and then it's about to go to sleep. And this, this download of the story of Patsy Klein just hit me. And like, what's so amazing about it for me is because um i used to tour with willie nelson off and on for like 15 years and so you know that was crazy was the song that made him and he's always had this i can't give away too much but he always has this gratitude on stage and in life he's very humble and he's just so grateful for the door that patsy klein opened for him and, and he's he's like that he does that for people so 
then I just got this download of this story about Patsy, about that, and um, it, and it takes place in like that, like it takes place in the moment right after the crash. So she's in like in this netherworld. She's just in this white room. It's just kind of a one woman show. And there's a stagehand, which you find out later, he's not what you think is. But it's, it's, it's just Patsy, and she thinks she's re- she's getting ready to go on and do another gig. Mm-hmm. But she's crashed, the plane's crashed. And so she's recounting her life and, she, and what she sees. I get goosebumps talking about, so what she sees wow. in that room of, of her friends on the other side. And there's, the, there's a real surprise ending. So it's- Wow, that sounds exciting. It's so exciting. And it's just this really cool one woman show giving a chance to go through Patsy's songs as well as, you know, her life, but also the way she sees things from, from heaven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty cool. So it's called Thank You, Patsy. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So this is, this is your new project. Pardon? That's your new project. Yes, well, I got a few because you know how it is, you know, and I'm ADD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? I love that one, though. That is so fun. So, the, so are the you going to write it as a book, too? Because it sounds like it would be a good book, it, or good script as well for her. I'm hoping, you know, I've only written just a short vignette. So, if time and circumstance, I'm going to, if anybody's interested in the Patsy Klein thing, and thank you, Patsy. Private message me on Facebook. I'm thinking to like put up a Patreon and get it going, and you know, mm-hmm. God willing, yeah, I'd love to write a book about it. Yeah, because it would be really fun. And then I've I've already written a screenplay. I went went to college for the first time when my son was going to college mm-hmm. three years ago, and um, so I got an A in in my college class. For I started writing a book about my. I believe it's my Hawaiian grandfather. And it's kind of like the descendants, but it's got pieces of Holly weird in it. So it's like two girls that go to find their, their, you know, their roots in Hawaii from Hollywood, but they go from Hollywood. So, these, this, this. so it's kind of like the descendants meets Thumb and Louise. <laughs> so it's wild and crazy, but it's got like tinges of the Hawaiian royalty in it. Mm-hmm. So I already wrote that, but um, now I need to, I need to take a meeting. <laughs> right. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, you've always been a great writer. Yeah, Mars writing. This is. Yeah. And this new batch of 20 songs about people, it's just. I really love that. Yeah, it's transformational. Well, you know, the first time it happened was with the song I played Only Love. Like, I was singing that. To, uh-huh. I stayed for two weeks. Um, Marion Williamson and I went and is it Jaquel's daughter and uh, and Annie just came out of the coma while I was singing to her. Yeah, and that and, beautiful. You know, and so and then so I've always known that you know songs change people. So, so I'm but sure I feel like this is watching too. Hi Jaquel. I'm sure Jaquel. Hi, Hi Andy. Hi Darcy. <laughs> yeah. So what are you what are you doing besides writing been, a book? Well, I just did some moon wisdom cards. So uh, I haven't seen them. They're, they they've been they've arrived, but I haven't seen them yet. Wait, wait. Where do you yeah. buy them? Do do? Mm, oh, just through my website. I'll put them up on my website probably. Okay. And you know my classes and the seminars and different workshops I do, the private workshops as well. Yes. The public ones. So I'll do some more public ones upcoming. Oh, I want to sing them. I haven't done too many public <laughs> ones. Like hmm? I want to come sing a song at your workshop. Yeah. Yeah. I've sung I it so much. that. We should just do the whole thing. And you're at the workshop singing and teaching writing or something, songwriting. That's the other thing I'm doing. I started this two years ago. I'm doing a thing called You Can Sing. And so because you know for years i sang with tony robbins too mm-hmm. singing oh. his talks and so i, I, I like that that's fun yeah. oh a lot and sang his wedding and hi becky 
And, and so, um, so I, that neurolinguistics, like people, you know, at your talks and then at, mm -hmm. at their talks, people would come up and go, where do you get that voice? And so I used the, like I get certified in neurolinguistics. I use that to come up with this whole unique way of teaching voice. Mm -hmm. And I've had people sing their first songs and sing their first notes, write their first songs. So I'm doing that. I'm slowly working with the guy from Sony, slowly. It was his idea. He's from England <laughs> to really put together a, a YouTube. Mm -hmm. We get the script. We we did a little, you know, I didn't like the YouTube. I didn't like the video. So we had to keep working on that. So it's time to get the intentions together. Yes, it's time. Definitely. It's self-determination as of this morning. It culminated, uh, let's see, in Palm Springs, it culminated at 7 something, 7 12, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so it's at a crescendo still right now. You know, it's at the high, at a high point. Will you it know, still be like doing when we, I go sing at the Pride with event tomorrow night? Mm hmm. Yeah, it'll be fun. I hope so. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. for it. I'm going to see. Outside so that everybody can see the men. Pardon? Yeah, yeah we should go outside. Or inside. Hmm? We should go outside. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get closer good. to the screen. Is that okay. no? Okay, there. That's good. There I'm getting go. better. <laughs> <laughs> you have to teach me. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. I will. Nice I will. Well, I'm in natural light today. And it usually, I don't know what it is with the, the radio shows. You know, usually it's nice to put lighting, you know, the whole thing. But Yeah, I need that. Where's my lighting? Yeah, where's where's, my, where's, where's my makeup lighting? person? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, it's so good to see you. I know, you too. You too. So, uh, yeah, because we used to hang out back in the day, Sedona, all sorts of places. Oh, oh, stupid. Yeah, Malibu, yeah, yeah. LA. Okay. Yeah, always fun. Yeah, watching Terry sing and hanging out. Yeah, yeah. with all our friends. All our friends. Yeah, a lot yeah, of this thing goes on. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. And then you went to Hawaii. So you went yeah. back to Hawaii. So it was fun. You know what? And it's fun to always catch up with you, too, because you have been traveling and a lot around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Traveled a lot. I've done a lot of gigs. I was a year in the Caribbean. I get this really cool gig opening for Gallagher. You know, the guy that mm -hmm. smashes watermelons? Yeah. <laughs> He's great. He, where, you know what island was that? Huh? What island were you on? We were on um, St. Martin and St. Bart's. Uh -huh. And like one gig that I did at St. Bart's, I got to stay. I mean, because they told me this. I got to, the room they gave me was um, Cindy Crawford stayed before me. And I was like, dude, I was like, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> you know, you just, it was so beautiful. It's so gorgeous there. And I speak French. So I just had like one of the most fun years. And Gallagher's amazing. He, he's like people, like there's these Gallagher groupies, like they they show up with raincoats and umbrellas. Oh my gosh. Like Rose in yeah. the Caribbean. Like where does that come from? <laughs> like rows of raincoats and umbrellas. <laughs> well, they made a mint. They made a mint on, on umbrellas and, and raincoats. Right? Oh my and he's just great. He's, I learned a lot from him. He's a really good businessman, very funny guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then I sort of parlayed that into more gigs staying in the, because I just didn't want to leave the Caribbean. Yeah. I was homeschooling my son and just sing. And so then I ended up artist in residence at the Radisson and just speaking French and singing French. And mm -hmm. it was amazing. Yeah. So I have, yeah, you know, you just go where the gigs are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where you're called. That you have calling, your soul yeah. calling to to yeah. soothe the world. Yeah, so maybe uh, it's time to to uh, write songs about people, and and that way, you know, because you now have so much experience 
with yeah. all sorts of different personalities and 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 just probably so many weird experiences. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> why not sing about them? Girl, we could talk someday, <laughs> couldn't we? <laughs> but you know what? I mean, these songs. Thank you for what you said because these songs. I feel such a calling. I'm so grateful to Malcolm Cohn. I got to say his name again in Australia. Look up his website, C O H A N, Malcolm Cohn. Mm -hmm. Think it so because he just, okay. A N, yeah. I, I mean, it's just, he has this whole um, thing, book about regeneration and about how we, we can, literally can regenerate ourselves through doing what we're on here on earth to do. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you you've got to start singing songs to people. It's going to regenerate them. And so I'm so excited about that project the most. Once we get that going, we need to find the venue. We're going to be doing it at the alley, I hope, but just getting a regular. So that that's where I'm failing. Like I need to get a regular once a week, you know, giving of these songs over YouTube. Or, and then I talk myself out of YouTube. So I can think, oh, I'm going to do a YouTube. So you talked me into it. Like when you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to start doing the, just getting the songs out regularly on YouTube. Because you're right, they need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, our intellectual property is important. You know, I mean, it, it's, a, it's an interesting journey, but it's, it's important. Yeah, I love what you're doing. Thanks, Tara. Thank yeah. Are, are we pink enough yet? Well, I know the pink. Are we properly pink for the day? Oh, wait, I don't have pink, but look, I have this. <laughs> oh, yeah, beautiful. Okay, girl. Here's some roses for you. Roses are beautiful. Love it. That's close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I embedded uh, uh, some pink, pink uh, flowers in the moon. It's just so great, beautiful. Yeah. Add, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, so now, um, so sing us another little song. I wonder more songs. Okay, what do you want? You know, I've written like over 400 songs. Yes. So what do you want? Like, give me a subject. I'll be spiritual because, you know, we're kind of a spiritual show. So it'll be fun. They like it. One more I have in my phone. Isn't everything I write spiritual? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. And I, I want to write, I want to sing you this song, but I don't have the words yet. It's an, one another one of those songs for people I've started to write. It's a song from my friend Taryn and it's called In the Middle of Ravello. Like she lives in Italy sometimes. And um, it's an amazing actor and mother. And uh, so I sang it to her and she's like, that, yeah, that you, yeah, you've got the essence of Italy. So like these songs are just, that'll be next. But I don't, I don't have that. I just wrote it. Can't remember all the words. I'll do this one. It's a good timing for this one. Okay. Got to get back in the camera. <laughs> yeah. Where's my lighting guy? You look great. <laughs> I've always wanted to see him. I've always wanted to look into his eyes. But I just couldn't get near him With all these demons just telling me lies mm -hmm. Ooh. Hey, yeah. What if he's been here already? What if he's in the eyes of everyone I meet? Sometimes I hear the angels singing in the wind. Oh, they sound so sweet. They sound like him. I want to see the eyes of Jesus. 
and everyone I I want them always to be near us. I guess it can be, uh, let them be you, you. Me. So what's the point in this living if we don't ever find a way to our hearts? Well, something must be forgiven and something must be found if we're ever gonna start feeling be his love cause that's the only way you're gonna find your true love and I wanna see the eyes of Jesus and everyone everyone I know I want him always to be near us I guess he can be let him be you. Let's hear you be. Good, good song for the for the day it is. It is. It's such a yeah. It's, it's the Friday pink mm -hmm. resurrection. Resur resurrection weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, I, the self determination, the going into your personal power. It's pretty. It's a pretty good moon for the for the Christian holiday. Mm -hmm. So I think every, I think this is spiritual too. Can I sing a new ukulele song? It's spiritual because it's about the town I, I love, mm -hmm. town I miss. This goes out to Michael McCartney and Babalu. And all the other DJs and Manawa Radio. La, 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 do you remember when I held your hand and I never knew that love could be so grand walking in behind the time do you remember when I kissed your lips and I never knew that life could be like this? Walking in the high town, had some days, sweet memories, shave ice, lily koi, mango tree. when the tourists sing la 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 walking in the Heine town that's the main girls <laughs> yeah La Heine it looks be it's beautiful have you been to Maui? yeah 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 mm. I love Maui I love Maui so gorgeous yeah Maui no kaoi I used to say that uh, Byron Bay in Australia was um, a lot like Lahaina in the 1970s when I first went there. Is it? 
That's where Malcolm is. That's where Malcolm Cohen is. Hi, Michael. In, in Byron Bay? I think he's near there. What oh, do I know? Maybe. It's a big place. Uh, it's a big country. Yeah, it's a big country. But that's <laughs> It's, I mean, it's, that. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's nice. So I have to go there then, Byron Bay. I would like it if it's like. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The Crystal Garden. Oh my gosh, that's. I'm gonna insanely go. Insanely beautiful. Like this one of the most beautiful country. places on the planet. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lahaina hasn't changed too much. Like it's still the still the the mana of the place is still there. The, mm, you know, the, the front good. street and the walk and mm -hmm. yeah, it's really sweet. Yeah. yeah, and I usually go to Kauai when I go. I have cousins, mm. so yeah, love to go to Kauai. Kauai's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so well, I'm just, they have a beautiful house. And, yeah, yeah. to be with family and we're cousins and oh, yeah, that thing. Yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah. Let yeah. me know next time you go. I will. I will. Maybe I'll be in Hawaii. Never know. Yeah, because yeah, I do love Hawaii for sure. for sure. Yeah. And I've been on a lot of islands. <laughs> right? This year. What's yeah. your favorite island? What's your favorite island? My favorite? I'm probably New Zealand, really, at this point. This stage, North, North, North New Zealand mm -hmm. Island. Yeah, because yeah, it's fun. I mean, yeah, it's such a great. Um, a lot of people are going to base, fan base there. Yeah, it's great. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hi, New Zealand. Uh, yeah. I love you. <laughs> yeah. But I love, Tara, I love you for a seminar. My other favorite island is Morea, and uh, mm -hmm. which is the French Polynesian island. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Maria. And I love um, Hawaii. I love yeah. Hawaii. Primarily. Yeah, yeah. Primarily. Yeah. Nice. Islands. I love islands. Yeah. Mm. And some people really love islands. I love everywhere. I'm not, I'm not too particular. Yeah, I love islands. Well, I love Maui because it has both. It's got the up country. You know, I used to always live up country, like Kula. It's like four thousand feet. So you've got the mountains, you've got the beautiful night air, and yet you can go snorkeling. And it's just, I love the culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the uh, sacred water. I always love um, sac the sacred waters of anything. Creek, yeah. pond, anything. Sacred. Nui Nani Bailele. Beautiful, beautiful waterfalls. I olelo have I now. I speak Hawaiian a little bit. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, gotta use it when I can so I don't lose it. <laughs> yeah. I love, I love it. it. Yeah. Um, that's fun. Yeah. yeah, so so now you're you've been kind of let um to venture off into the world though again. Not just Yeah, well because because like my son grew up, darn it. So yeah. I have anti nest syndrome on steroids. Mm. Like you know, I got him I homeschooled him, which you know, so I was very you know, like you are a devoted mother, so very devoted mother and um very schooled him, got him to college, and he's just this great, he got his degree, top of class, um, 3D modeling and rigging and all that. And so he's just starting off seeking his, so he went to Texas, and I'm like, what do I do now? Texas so, is nice, though. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah, I, went, I, did, I just did, sang at a, do you know of Dr. Carolyn Leaf? She's a neuroscientist. Oh. She's great. So I just sang it at one of her events, right when I got to the mainland, and to, to visit my son and sang at her event in Texas. She's great. amazing. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I went and got to see my son, and and but yeah, it's just. So now I'm just gonna go on the road. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't. We can't. Um, it's your time again. Yeah. The empty nest. Is it's your time? So you get to do what you want to do. I, I know, but it's for a while. So. I just want to get <laughs> yeah. cookies from my son. So it's really, you have to really like 
that's why I'm so grateful to you and Malcolm, like in Australia, because these projects are starting to refocus me. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I got to get these songs out. It's like, you've got to get your songs out. All right. And then my yeah. manager is like, you've got to get to Nashville and get your songs out. So, okay. So it's, yeah, I'm writing more than ever. So it's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I have a, a new app. I have a new app called I you have a new app? app. I'm going to do that. You're going to teach me how to get an app. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. So yeah. the, uh, what is the app is for what? The app is for, um, well, there's 32 meditations at a time and they rotate. And uh, I mean, we just started it. It went out uh, like a month and a half ago or so. And uh, it, it was announced, but it will be, um, you know, it's, it's, all therapy all different kinds of therapies and you can just like go to the google store and download it mm -hmm. the app store i'm gonna do that i hypnotherapy mm -hmm. i'm gonna do that right now when you get off yeah so it's yeah. a month it's a month free and then there's a free download and so and then you know i'm sure that people will want to stay with it because a lot of people go to sleep with meditations instead of using yeah, yeah. pills they they program their mind yeah yeah that's so that's the yeah. best anyway is to program your mind at night yeah i like pray and listen to inspirational youtubes mm -hmm. at night. yeah so it's really important how you go to sleep so yeah that'd be great. i'm gonna check that out what's the app called again i hypnotherapy so if i just go to play store and look for i hypnotherapy okay uh -huh. i'm gonna do that i hypnotherapy yeah, well, it's not on. It's not on um, Android. It's only on uh, iPhone right now and iPad. Uh, my oh, okay. guy, he's he's making it for Android. Okay. Yes. So I could yes. put it on my iPad. Yes. Cool. Yes. I hit my therapy. We do that. Oh, I because Apple. I get it because I tunes. I yeah. got. Mm -hmm. I'm a little slow. Okay. <laughs> it's great. It's great. That's great. It's so awesome, Tara. Yeah, so I can I can carry anybody, so it's gonna be fun. So we, okay, we so talk about it. Yeah. So when are we gonna do a seminar in, in New Zealand? Well, we can do a seminar <laughs> in LA if we want. Yeah, that's probably close <laughs> to us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do a yeah. seminar in LA first, and then New Zealand. I have a center in LA, so we can do us. We can we can work in the center if we want. I would love that. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Yeah. I'm still going to dream about New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, New Zealand. We can work down in New Zealand. Anyway. Gotta put it out there, right? You can put it out there. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to Ayers Rock upcoming. I want to do a whole bunch of stuff. I met a wonderful woman just a couple weeks ago. Who She lives uh, right by Byron Bay. She lives just up um, kind of by Brisbane. Yeah. So she's a she's a, a yoga teacher so and a nutritionist and an esthetician and stuff so we want to work with her as well so i got tons of things we have th things to do okay whoever's listening please book tara a seminar in new zealand so i can go <laughs> <laughs> i just got back from a month there really? <laughs> like a oh, two no. weeks ago yeah next yeah next year next year yeah yeah next year wow. yeah. well, so what do you so your i so your app is, and then where are you going next um well probably arizona i i'm gonna do some work in arizona and uh and at my at my center and in la for a couple months hopefully i mean i'm there <laughs> you know, i'm not there much but i want to be there and um and then uh i'm going to europe at the end of the at the end of uh, August, I think. And that'll be a seminar so people can come along if they want. Wow. We, have, we have some great seminars upcoming that are being planned right now. That's awesome. Yeah, so it'd be really nice. So we'll be in England and Spain and Romania. So if any, anybody wants to come along, you know, just scam me for right now because we're putting all the everything together. Yeah. 
Wow, that's awesome. So you've got like a package deal if you want yeah. to go. Yeah, if, it, if they want to go for five days or, or seven days, I'm not sure exactly how many days we're going to go to the beach. But then, um, yeah, they can go along to the other, you know, it can be a three package, three, three week package, two week package, one week package, whatever they want of any of the places. Yay. Yeah. Yay soon. Yeah, so I have my people everywhere putting things together. That's so awesome. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I couldn't do because I was raising a son alone, you know, but um, I'm, I'm going to start doing that. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll be there. Right. Never, never know. So nice. what's it called? If you want to go on the website, what's it? Oh, my Just, website is terrainsight.com. You can get there, terrainsight.com too. But uh, yeah, Tara Insight, um, it's T A R A. I N S I G H T dot com. And how about you? How can they find you, Terry? You know, right now, um, just I mean, I've got a website, but I'm really not taking care of it well. <laughs> so just you know, really Facebook, Instagram, Terry Garrison, okay. Facebook, Instagram. So, so your name T E R I G A R R I. Uh huh. So everybody the Facebook, is. Instagram, yeah. and then, or, you know, go to YouTube and put my name in. And there's an EPK mm -hmm. uh, electronic yeah. press kit and um, it's got all the info too. It's got my email, you know, which nice. is Terry Garrison 11, which you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. That's great. It's great. Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to, uh, should we uh, do like a little, um, meditation uh uh you know you playing along with the guitar as we go out we only have about two minutes left okay let me play a little bit of one song because this okay. is my thing you sing it and we'll go out lots of love everybody happy beautiful pink full moon 29 degrees libra self-determination come on be in yes. doubt with your talents and gifts this is the time because you got to wake up every morning, especially this morning and say some good gonna happen to me. Ooh, la, la. What can it be? Some good gonna happen today. Bless my soul, baby. Gotta be that way. Well, hallelujah and glory be. I said, some good gonna happen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah and glory. I said, some, some good gonna happen. So yeah, that's the thing to think about on this pink little guy. Mm, some good. You gotta see it first. Smell it. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Most of all, gotta feel it. Mm -hmm. Some good gonna happen to me. Oh, la, la, what can it be? And most of all, you just gotta give thanks. Isn't that right? So say, Hallelujah Thank you for listening to Transformations with Tara. Tara hopes this program brings guidance and insight towards a better tomorrow. If you have any questions or inquiries, or would just like to know more about Tara Sutphin's workshops and seminars or private sessions, please visit her website now at terrainsight.com. Until next time, many blessings. <laughs>